It is now 616. Jason Michael back with us now to talk more about that unsettling weather. Don't you love it weather people say unsettling? Unsettling, <laughs> As yes. opposed to like crazy wacky. <laughs> That's what we would say, right? That's what we would say. Yeah, but I, I promise you this. It's going to settle down uh. by the time we close out the work week tomorrow, heading in towards the weekend for Father's Day here. A lot of the instability that we've been talking about moving through northeast Ohio has been kind of tempered, at least along the lakeside, and kept well inland here. You can see sort of combustion here. Lots of cloud cover moving into portions of western Pennsylvania, even upstate New York at this hour all because of this very strong cold front to move through. And I'll tell you why it's so strong in just a few minutes. As far as conditions out there, we've seen a range of temperatures across the region. We got 90s, you can see, for Elyria, even into the 70s down in Akron, Canton, 80s along the lakeside right now. And I can tell you this, the rain cooled air with these thunderstorms have really kept these temperatures lowered for this evening. But most areas at least felt 100 degrees or more this afternoon. As far as the heat, most of it is leaving the area over the next few hours here, and because of this, we've already cut back our heat advisory across the region, so no county in northeast Ohio is under that heat advisory any longer. However, the feels like temperatures still feel like 90 degrees, even though they're in the 70s in Akron, 93 for our friends over north and east in Ashtabula, mid-90s for Norwalk, Liria feel like 91 and 86 right now in downtown Cleveland. Here's the kicker here, okay? Once the front fully passes, we have a secondary front coming tomorrow. It's going to take any sort of residual humidity right out with it. We still have dew point temperatures in the 70s. It still feels very heavy out there. But with this north wind that will come in tonight, heading in toward tomorrow, and certainly by Saturday morning, we can wave goodbye to the humidity. Certainly nothing like we've been experiencing for the past couple of days. So not a steamy overnight tonight. However, temperatures will be getting down likely into the low 70s and perhaps even the upper 60s for some. Here's your National Design more hour by hour forecast. Notice all that convection, all that unstable air, air and uh, conditions is leaving the area. We'll brace ourselves for a mostly clear night, a beautiful, stunning Saturday, Friday. I think temperatures for tomorrow will kind of bob and weave between 80, 82 degrees. But that secondary front that will be coming in late in the day on Friday, heading in towards the evening hours, you can see the cloud coming in there. That'll take us back to what it feels like likely in fall. So here's the big picture right now, okay? That ridge is still going to be confined to the western portion of the lower 48. We'll have that trough extending down. You can see that blue bring in much cooler conditions by Friday night heading in towards Saturday. Saturday night even heading in towards Sunday. You're really going to feel it here. And I think all in all, most of the humidity will be eroded from the region until we get to Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Now brace yourselves for your union home mortgage seven day. Stunning weekend, as I said before. Sunny skies for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, low 50s waking up for Father's Day Monday. Monday. But you can see here by Monday, Tuesday, we start to crank it up again, going back into the mid to upper 90s for feels like temperatures by Tuesday, Wednesday of next week before our next cold front comes in by Thursday. Russ and Laura? Settling down and stable. Yes, <laughs> we like that, Jason. Thank yes. you.